What's up guys and welcome to Chase's Workshop and in this video I'm going to go through and work on the pickup design that we've been messing with. If you didn't see the last video you can click right here and go check it out. Um, the humbucker pickup. Now I'm going to be using the same stuff that I used in the how to build a pickup series where I built the pickup bobbin out of this fiberboard. And it's the same stuff I'm going to use for this one too. Um, so I got this stuff from Stu Mac. I'll put links in the description if you want to go buy some. And I also bought these magnets from Stu Mac as well. Now in this video, I'm going to go out here and cut all this stuff out on the CNC machine. Now I've showed you how to, I've done that before in my build of my other pickups. And so I'm not going to show you in this one. I'm just going to kind of go out there and get it all done and bring it here. And we can you can just see me putting it together and all that stuff. So if you want to see me building a pickup on the CNC machine, though, you can click right here and go check out this video. And it'll kind of lead you through that too. Guys, if you have any questions or comments about any of this stuff, as always, leave them below. Ask me questions, anything you want to. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, so here's the pieces I've got cut out here. Um, this is, of course, the bottom of the pickup right here. So these two will go together. And then these are the tops. So it'll be something similar to that. And then I've got the magnets to go between them. I cut one out, kind of screwed it up. This one here, it just, I, I didn't have it held down to the CNC machine good, so it messed up, but. Anyway, so I recut them out today, and they did a lot better this time. Okay, basically now I went back and I've chamfered this edge right here of this each of these magnet these pole pieces. And it just helps them go into these holes better. These are a tight fit, and um, these pretty much have to be beat in to make them go in into the hose. So that's what I've done, and that just helps to align them once they go into the hose. Okay, so I've been beating on this thing here. I've got them. The ones I pretty much in there, as you can tell, they're a little crooked on some spots, but once I get this top piece on here, it should straighten everything up. So it's going to be like that there. And um, now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and uh, work it on with my little hammer here. So this will be one of them down. Now I ended up using Alnico 5 magnets. These are Alnico 5s, and um, they're not charged. Um, the last set I got from Stu Mac had a slight charge to them. These are they, they don't have any charge at all. So once I get done, I'm going to charge these guys. All right, so I've got about half of them in now, and I'm just kind of pushing them in as I go. And you can tell with this, this is a lot more flexible than the wood that I used in the other other uh, pickup that I built. So I'm going to just kind of work these guys in and get them as close as I can. Now the bottom's kind of sticking through a little bit, and I have to level that back up once I get done. So, but anyways, moving right along with. So here's the two put together. The, uh, my material was kind of warped, and so it kind of made a pain in the butt to get this, these things straight. But anyways, I've got it pretty much set up now. Um, that's how it's going to look once I get it all together. And um, I'm probably going to put the eyelets on these ends right here. Maybe put two there and put two there. And then that way when I wind them, I can, that'll be easy to hook together down here. Okay, what I've decided to do here is just add these eyelets on these ends right here. I was going to do them down here, but that's going to, that was going to get in the way of the um, back plate and the mounting for the actual, to mount the pickup. So I've decided to drill these two holes here. I'm going to do the same thing to this one, and they'll both connect there, right there. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I got these two in. As you can tell, I got a little too rough with this one. Split it right there, but that one did pretty good. Uh, I just spit my coffee all over the place too, so I should probably should have stopped then, I guess. But anyways, so here we are. That one split a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. And then I'm fixing to do the exact same thing to this guy here, and we'll try not to split it this time. There we go. So now we got one that's kind of screwed up right there. One side is pretty good. So that's the only way I knew to do this, because like I said, that if I do it from the bottom, if I try, I was going to try to put uh, both of them right here, 
If I did that, these two were going to mess mess up the where the uh, mount is for the pickup mount where the actual back back plate sits. So I ended up putting them out here. I'm going to have to adjust the uh, drawing on Fusion for the back plate too, so I can account for those guys there. All right. So here's probably one of my most favorite parts of doing this whole thing. I don't know if it's because I like the way this stuff smells. Hopefully not. That's not where it is. It does have a strong smell, but it is dip these guys in this lacquer. And this is just a gloss guitar lacquer. I got it from Steve Mac. Uh, I've had it for years, and once I build the pickups, I just this is what I dip them down into. So there goes one of them right here. Stick it in there. Let it sit for a few minutes. Well, I guess it has to really has to sit. I just let it sit. I guess I don't know. And then we'll do the same to the other. Let it sit in there too. But uh, this helps lock the magnets in, I think, and it kind of seals everything up and gives it a pretty sheen, and not just a, you know, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Okay, they've been sitting there for about a minute or so. I'm just gonna pull them out, let them drip. Okay, I'm going to take these out in the shop and hang them up, and then I'll be back once these dry. Okay, so I got those guys drying. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm using here. So same stuff I use in my other videos. If there's anything that I'm doing here that you're wanting to know how to do, I, I, I covered just about every bit of this in my other video I'm going to pick up. So I'm going to do it like this so you can see it. But uh, it's gloss guitar lacquer. Uh, it's Seagraves Coatings. I got it from, um, like I said, Stu Mac. Well, all right, so there's the bobbins built. I've got the, them done now. Um, all I have to do now is wind these guys. And I'm probably going to do that in the next video just because I can kind of ded dedicate a whole video to just winding them. And where we can go through that more in depth than just trying to rush through it for this video. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, when I start the windings on these guys, I'm going to start them both exactly the same. I'm going to do, you know, both of them are going to be wound uh, either counterclockwise or clockwise. But then when I wire these guys up, they'll actually wire up different. Where, you know, if this might be the start on this one, uh, this would be the finish on this one. You see what I'm saying? And then they're actually going to be wound the same direction, but they're going to, the actual le the electricity in the magnets are going to go in the opposite direction. So that's how they'll, they'll do that. So they'll basically wound the, exactly the same. And then, of course, the polarity to be, I'm going to do north polarity on one, south polarity on the other. But other than that, it should be exactly the same. So there we go, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any, anything I can do to uh, make this guy any better. Just let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.